Uh, this ICOM radio uh, is, is great, but um, one thing it doesn't have is any sort of uh, DSP noise reduction. So the other day I purchased a uh, BHI NES 10 2 Mark III. How do they think of these names? And it works pretty well, so I'll, I'll try and give you a demo here. Um, uh, this, antenna's not this is with it off. The wire centipede with tuned feeders, and uh, that works all bands for me from and one to six metres, so uh, it works out pretty well. Okay, great. Back to you for anything else, then I better go and push on with my, uh, so with my chores again. here. VK5LG from VK2TM. So that signal's quite weak, and uh, you do get this watery effect on the audio, but it does uh, really suppress the annoying background noise. It makes it, uh, uh, I'm much more inclined to just leave the receiver on with this in line. I haven't worked many VK5s lately because, uh, uh, oh, not, that, not as active as I used to be years ago. But uh, the reason I'm saying that is because uh, I haven't heard... So there you go, uh, quite a nifty bit of kit for about uh, $200. And uh, of course it works with all radios, including homebrew radios. Uh, we're working on uh, cutting our firewood for winter. Uh, this is something we get done very early in the year if we can. Uh, so I've been working on that. Uh, we're calling wood to the, uh, the old woodshed today. And uh, got a lot of that done. And uh, no, uh, not much of a yard here to mow. Uh, we're on kind of a mountain top, and it's really rocky. And uh, well, uh, if you tried to mow it uh, with a lawnmower, uh, you'd probably be replacing your blade every uh, couple days. So uh, it takes quite a bit of work to get all the rocks out. But uh, we're up here about uh, 2,500 feet above sea level uh, on 30 acres, and uh, definitely love it. Well, where you have ten kids, I have uh, kids. I have a two-year-old and I have a one-month-old. So uh, we're uh, doing quite well. Age here is 40. And uh, boy, you just, uh, you're booming right in here. You were uh, five over S9 that time. So 